If you've been researching the Raleigh area and been reading a little bit about North Hills, that is what we're going to be talking about in our video today. So stick around and find out about North Hills, the shopping area, and the housing around it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Uh, I am Zach. This is my beautiful wife, Cindy. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the corner. You can also hit the bell to be notified of every time we release a new video, which is weekly. Uh, that number on the screen, we put it there because we are licensed real estate brokers in the area, which means as much as we love to make these videos for you, we love to help you with your real estate needs even more. So if, if you have any questions about the area, um, any questions regarding real estate, we'd love, love, love to chat with you about it. So feel free to reach out and you can text, call, whatever is most convenient for you. But today we're gonna to be covering, like Cindy said, an area called North Hills in Raleigh. Um, it's a really cool area. Uh, the housing options are great. Uh, the shopping options are great. It's just it's just a loaded area. So with that being said, let's uh, let's get at it. All right, so we're gonna talk about the location, the amenities, and then the housing. All right, so if you're looking at a map and trying to figure out where North Hills is, so Raleigh is really, I guess, dissected by two interstate systems. You have uh, Interstate 440, which is called the Beltline, and it's the inner, the inner interstate system within, within Raleigh. And then you have the outer loop called 540, Interstate 540. North Hills is in between those, but it's much closer to the 440 side. And really, I mean, 4, 440 and inside of 440 is like the coveted area within Raleigh. So inside the Beltline is, 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 a, is a big deal. And North Hills is like right, right on that section. So that just kind of gives you the geographic location of, of North Hills. Uh, but it's a great location um, as far as proximity to really anything, whether it's downtown Raleigh uh, or other parts of Raleigh or even other parts of the Triangle. It's, I mean, with the interstate system that is there, you can get anywhere really, really, really quick. Definitely. Yeah. And like Zach mentioned, with it being near that inner Beltline area, there definitely comes a big price tag that comes yep. along with inner Beltline. So we'll yep. kind of talk about that once we look at some of the housing. But, you know, North Hills feels like kind of like a luxury shopping yeah. center. and. Yeah. Um, it's really, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. So as far as what's in the area, you have the North Hills Shopping Center itself, yep. um, which is really beautiful, nice. Yeah. There's a lot of um, clothing stores, boutiques, different things like that. There's a movie theater in there and a lot of higher end restaurants. Yep. Um, there's also a lot of commercial office space that's being built in the area. Um, and it's just continuing to expand, which yeah. is really neat. Um, there's like a $1 billion expansion project there going on currently. Um, and I don't know exactly when that's set to be complete. I think it's going to be like... I think 2024. Yeah, like yeah. a three-year project, I think, from when it started last year. Yeah. Um, but with that is going to be a lot more commercial space, some apartments, residential space, but also... Um, a lot of acreage of like green space and trails and things like that which is really nice for the area um, but right there in North Hills you know like I mentioned lots of restaurants and shopping for sure but you've also got um, you know there's a country club type pool that you can join if you lived in the area called North Hills Club um, it's really nice it has like a playground outdoor pool some tennis stuff so it's nice if you especially if you have kids and you yep. want to have a pool but maybe the house itself doesn't have a pool nearby so that's that's really nice. There's a lot of parks in the area. We're at one right now, North Hills Park. And then within the North Hills Shopping Center itself, there's a little grassy yep. park space. It doesn't have like a playground or anything, but it does have like a stage and they do live music um, in the summers and it's called Midtown Park. So you might also hear this area of Raleigh referred to as Midtown. So um, kind of just means like centrally located in, within Raleigh, even though it has North in the title of North Hills. Um, it's not quite North Raleigh. Yep. So. Yeah, and like Cindy was saying, North, North Hills, um, as far as like dining options go, there 
there, there's some pretty upscale upscale options. Capitol Hill or Capitol Grill. Capitol Grill, not Capitol Hill. Capitol <laughs> Grill Steakhouse is there, and it's really it's one of the nicest steakhouses in the area. Um, and then you've got other other dining options that, that are a part of that. They used to do. I don't know if North Hill still does it, but in the little grassy area near the movie theater, they used to have um, summer. Uh, it was like beach music, like uh, like the Carolina Shag Dance. They used to have that there. I don't know if they still do it, but that, that was a lot of fun. I'm assuming they still do. Yeah, um, well, probably not with COVID, but maybe yeah, this true. summer that's it'll true. be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was that's a cool little thing that, that they used to do out there. But, I mean, just in general, I it, you know, there's everything that you need is in North Hills. And that uh, expansion that Cindy was talking about, one of the things that they're adding to that is um, – one of the food halls i don't know if, if you might be familiar with the concept of a food hall but it's basically like it's like a mall food court but it's in a more i guess hip building and um i guess you know better yeah yeah better like, restaurants yeah. and like what you would find in like a mall food court but they're that's one of the things that they're they're adding in there and those have become popular in this area in general uh yeah. kind of popping up all over the place but but yeah i mean as far as amenities go <laughs> it's loaded it's really loaded for so. sure, for sure. And as far as the history of North Hills goes, um, originally, you know, back in the day in the 60s, it was just like a strip mall. Yep. And then about 10 years after that, it turned into one of the first enclosed malls in the yep. area. And then I think it was in 2003-ish yep. when um, that kind of got demolished and it turned into the North Hills that we know today. Yep. So kind of has a neat history. But around that, obviously, you know, back in the 60s, a lot of what surrounded North Hills um, the housing and things like that is what's still there today. So yep. it's interesting because back then it was just kind of like a normal area. So yep. you had a lot of traditionally 60s-ish North Carolina style houses, which is a lot of brick ranches and things like that. And now that North Hills became more and more popular, um, people wanted that access to yeah. the North Hills area and the Beltline and stuff. So it's kind of what makes it expensive, but you'll drive around the area in North Hills and it'll be like, a random ranch house from yep. the 60s and then this huge two million dollar home right next to it so yeah. that's kind of the feel you'll get driving through yeah. it doesn't look bad it's a little bit odd i would say but it's just like still transitioning yeah it's so it's so fascinating you know talking about housing uh driving through these neighborhoods or these these subdivisions around north hills and and you do like cindy said you'll you'll see this old ranch that you know some of them have been updated and um kind of have like a modern flair to them others look like they haven't been touched and then you know you, you have that and right beside it you, you've got this two million dollar house and yeah. so it's just uh but i mean the the homes in general in this area are are just stunning i mean i mean some, some of them are just they're they're beautiful um really? price range for this area on the low end you're you're looking in the fives uh low fives mid fives um all on the high end you know way up into the into the seven figures and so um a pretty wide range with this area and and honestly i mean what what's happening is developers are coming in they're buying some of those uh non-updated ranch homes and they're tearing them down and you know they're building they're building uh you know some of these these million dollar houses and and in some of the some of the video that they were showing over this you're probably seeing some of those lots that you know there obviously used to be a house there and there there no longer is and they're they're starting to build some of these some of these newer homes and so it's just a common theme in this area uh and it's very similar to honestly what you see in downtown durham too um yeah. as far as you know you have a lot of older homes and then you have you know these really expensive uh luxury homes that are that are popping up right right in the in, in the area so Definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah, but the home style in general, I'd say of the newer build homes is definitely has a very luxury feel to yep. it. Um, more modern architecture, just yeah. incredibly beautiful homes like yep. Zach mentioned. And for the most part, the ranches and the older homes that are still existing are in really good condition. And, you mm -hmm. know, it's not like, oh, it's a luxury home next to like a rundown you know, beat up shack yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing like <laughs> it that. Just, it just looks a little weird, I guess, because you know it's like huh, that's a weird home to be next to like you can tell yeah. that it's just changed over time but it's yeah. kind of cool because you can see like a storied past and um, kind of get in a vision for what it used to be like uh, yeah. I actually have a family member that lives in the North Hills area that bought their house over there back in the 60s when um, she was young and it's just crazy like 
her experience living there, like North Hills wasn't even, the shopping center wasn't even really there and yep. how it has come, grown and changed and watching her neighbors, you know, sell their home and them getting demolished and putting up these giant, beautiful houses, you know, but she has no intention of moving. So don't, uh, don't poach us to try to get uh, <laughs> my Aunt Gail's house. But um, yeah, it is really cool to see, to see the changes. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, so that is North Hills in a nutshell. So if you're looking in the Raleigh area, you're interested in the Raleigh area, and you're interested in more of kind of the mid to, to north side, or I, I mean, I guess even the, in the, the Beltline side too, North Hills kind of fits well in both categories. North Hills could be a great option for you. Um, but thanks so much for watching today's video. Uh, like I said earlier, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the corner and also hit the bell to be notified of every time we release a new video. Uh, that number on the screen, like I said earlier, that is our number. Uh, you can call that number, text that number, whatever is most convenient for you. Uh, I also have my email address um, inside the, the, the video description part, uh, so you can email if that is most convenient for you as well. Yep, and you can also follow us on social media yep. or head to our website. Our Instagram handle is the Honeycut Realtors, so you can find us there. We'd love for you to follow along with us, and we can follow you back and um, just you'll see more uh, just about the area on our page there or you can reach out to us too on our website which is www. wait that's a lot of w's you don't need the w's it's honeycutrealtors.com yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we'd love to touch base with you and we hope that you'll watch us again here next week yeah but thanks so much for tuning in and we will see y'all next time